Hey guys, how you doing? Yes, I said 10.40. It's actually 10.40. I said, I said to you guys at half past 10 UK time. So we should be at yours. Um, uh, if you are in Paris, it should be 11.30. Hi, Mel Penam. Penam, what's up? What's up? Hey. Hey, Nakwa 105. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'll bring, I'll bring some people with me, obviously, because it's nice. Today is English. But obviously, if you see um, any French and you want me to speak in French, I will translate in French. So don't worry. I hope you like the new style. Do you like it? Obviously, I'm still getting used to it. Yeah. <laughs> should we should we should we wait a little bit more? Is everyone okay? Mm hmm Yes. Hey, hey, hey. See most of people coming out here. Hello, Auntie. What's up, girls? What's up? You like you like these crazy things I've done so far? I look like like a like a witch in there. <laughs> Oh, welcome to it gives me the power <laughs> yeah in love with your new hairstyle thanks thanks hello linda oh by the way for linda linda mankoto benisha if you i feel like a talking tongue when i say her name Lin see <laughs> oh yes guys you, will, you may wonder with who am i but i am really here with um one of my girls and she wants to stay on the low so we're just gonna hear her voice hi guys uh -huh. hi. yes yes so as i said for linda monko monkoto benisha she's a gospel singer she will sing in french she's amazing please wow. have a look and the way she sing her and her friends i see yeah. You can feel the connection with the Lord. Wow. See? So please have, go and check her. As I said for the French people, uh, please allez voir a selfie like it's appelle Linda. Point. Mankoto Benisha. I feel like speaking tongue. In tongue is me. Hallelujah. Yeah, she's, she's a, a God. C'est une chanteuse de gospel. Um, elle, elle chante avec tout son cœur. On sent qu'il y a le message qui est rentré en elle. Donc, allez voir, c'est quelque chose. Okay, I think we're going to start because too much talking. You like it, Oti? Oti, puis c'est tout. Do you like it? Please don't look at the makeup. It's done by me. And it's not as great. My girls, let me down, but it's okay. It's not gonna stop me. It's not gonna stop me. Bon, we're going to start now, okay? <sighs> it's a lot to say. It's a lot. Yeah. Last week we were with the boxer Francis Goma, where he was talking about the education, his mother, mm -hmm. how the mother fight for him to not be in the street. Yeah. So, which give me. I said, no, I have to do something with the mothers because it is so true yeah. that we are fighting for our children. Yeah. 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 So today we're going to discuss about that. So be ready if you guys also have um, something to say about it. Yeah. Let me know even more. If you want to participate, you want to show your face and talk about, do it because this is the moment. So as I said, yes, you got my notes. Oh, girlfriend, hey, but I'm not going to talk too much about this. Mm -hmm. So, I was talking about the biggest problems for the women in today's world. Yeah, because we've always going on with this coronavirus, yeah. these, these things there and there. Mm -hmm. we, we don't think about the real problem, us. Yeah. yeah, it's not all about them, those men. Because when the man is not there on the picture... Who is there? The mother. Us. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Don't worry. You see those things here, girlfriend. I feel you because I'm also a mother. A mother of four children. Hey, when I say that, I say myself. A chapa, a chapa. So ah, this is a lot of my chest. But that's not gonna be for me. That's gonna be for you. So yes, as a mother of four, I can only support all others' mothers, even if they're not mother yet, because. 
I'm pretty sure you're mothering somebody else's kids. Absolutely. If it's not your nephew, if you're not somebody you know, yeah. you, you're still there. Yeah. So you are in these figures. So the main problem I was thinking to talk now is actually the patriarchy. Yes. You see what? Yeah. Yeah, the patriarchy. I remind my people of patriarchy, what do you know about that? Does anyone know about patriarchy? Damn. Do you know about it? What do you think it is? You have an idea? Uh, kind of. Do you mean mm -hmm. where you stand in the the setup? So if you're if you're on top or bottom, where you stand in terms of your relationship? Patriarchy. Yes, but then you for, you forgot one side, one real point, which is where you're standing as a man or a woman. And when we talk about patriarchy, yes, it's really important for me to to highlight these things because. Pay attention. When we're talking about patriarchy, we're talking about the men. Yeah. The men on the head of the family, of the government. So, so far, in all the European countries, yeah. if it's not Angela Merkel, yeah, the rest is all men. men. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So this is really important to understand the term of uh, patriarchy for, we got, for the rest of the, the story. Right now, patriarchy, I do my research. He says, what does he mean? Dun, dun, dun. This is um, uh, the patriarchy is when you have a man yeah. on top of a decision making okay. of a government yeah. of a family yeah. is you always the man who is at the front, right? And then even when I Google it, they keep saying that is a system of society or a government in which the father or elders is a head of the family or descent is recon through the male line so it's all about men it's all about men. men point of view the opposite of patriarchy obviously is um matriarchy yeah yeah but it, it looks too much politics it looks too much you don't understand what i mean by that why do i talk about it it's simple it's because the world it changes it's about time that the man Listen, please listen to the woman because we make important decisions. Yeah. And when a man is not there, it's the woman who takes the decision. Takes the decision. Exactly. And most of the time, when you let, when you let, again, when you let a woman decide, most of the time, it's successful. Yeah. It's successful. The woman is wise, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Have you looked in Germany since Angela Merkel is there? Is there any problem there? No problem. She's got it under control. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So now when we look at in our family, hey ho, back, no more politics. When we're looking at the family, when the man is not there, it's obviously the mother yeah. who has to take in charge. Yeah. But if she's taking in charge, there is a lot of points that you guys need to consider and discuss with me because that can change the way you act in your own family, yeah. with your boyfriend, your husband, everything is fundamental. So that's why we need to talk about it. Uh, today I'm going to talk about seven points. But if I'm not finished, obviously we're going to carry on for the following week because, yeah. because you know. So they said, well, my first point was the patriarchy. Why the patriarchy is because um, we know that the society today, we all want to have a man in our life. Yeah. We want that man to be there for you. Yeah. yeah. But you don't. For, for some, most of us in general, we don't have that particular man. So we're replacing. Yeah. Yeah. So when I'm, seeing, um, when I'm thinking about this problem that we have today as a woman, about the patriarchy issue yeah. is because we, the society is so used to have a man in charge. Yeah. And the fact that now, as a woman, we are here in 2020 with more degrees, more education, experience, yeah. qualified and stuff, we make people scared of us. But and those people mm -hmm. is the male. It's the male. What do you think about that? I think that's correct. And I think but the men are still in those positions. Mm -hmm. We haven't really broken completely those barriers but i think men are seeing that women are not joking now mm -hmm. we can actually challenge them in all areas of life 
That's the thing. And, and that's why we're having this problem in today's society. And even what the point I, I, I retrieve on this one is women have maintained the highest office yeah. of leadership. But it's not everywhere. You have it in Liberia. You have it, obviously, Germany, India, UK. Even in UK, you have women there. But it's not in the US. It's not in France. Women, we still below, we still mm. behind. And this is one of our main problems. Yeah. This is just the society. Wait, when I will come to you guys in your relationship. Mm, I like this part, actually. Hi. Yes. And then as it says, it's not enough women on the table. That's the, the second point. Hello. Hello, Miss Lanep. Why I'm saying that? Because when we take the decision for us, mm -hmm. look at... When they when they talk about the when they talk about the benefits is going to be cut down la, 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 or about what they're going to put as working the flexibility and stuff yeah yeah for women especially the mothers yeah and then now that it's corona out of nowhere you have plenty possibility That's to it. do you've managed so, to find the money hey. All of this. No, women, we suffer. We yeah. suffer. Mm -mm. We suffer. This is one thing. I don't even go to sexism, racism, and all this economic inequality for women. We're going to talk about the trauma centered feminism. Mm -hmm. That's the part I wanted us to discuss. Be ready. As I said, the trauma, uh, there is, there is a, a, a good woman, Christina of Summers, and she said, in many ways, we are not just doing as well as men. We actually surpass them. There you go. I'm going to this one. Why we think that? And then men's going to think that we are too much talking, 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 talking. Yeah? Because we always have something to say. So they do not want to hear mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. But listen, a woman is not only us who have to suffer, who wants to suffer. God make us suffered because we have to give life. Yeah. And not just like that. The same way you guys it's have... It's hard work. Yes. It's, ah! yeah. This is the man we come, the man we come, you will enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. If we treat you good for a couple of minutes or hours or months. And then when things get hard, bye-bye. Okay. But the women will have to stay. Isn't it? Yeah. So for... And you cannot run away from your responsibilities when you're a woman, especially when you're a mother. Yeah. You have to face it. Yeah. So there is some women who keep telling me, I, I, I've seen it in private, and asking me, how do I do personally to, on my daily basis to deal with my children and do what I do now? Obviously, I pray. I pray because the strength is not there. Am I the only one? No, definitely not. Because sometimes you will put all your efforts on other people, mm. like your partner, yeah. even your children. And sometimes we come, you discover that you haven't done enough for yourself. Yeah. And you still have to face it, isn't it? But with a man not there, it's harder. Because what people need to think is when you are in relationship, relation is not with one person. That's right. I was talking that, I think one of my past one, um, a relationship is with two people. Yeah. But two people doesn't mean two physical person. No. It means the same vision. Yeah. And I think this is the problem we're having today about relationship is because women, we don't have the same vision with that man, but we still want to force it. Yeah. And it comes, it becomes harder and harder. Yeah. yeah. It, it becomes like, oh, you cannot go back because it's already come there too forward yeah 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 you've gone too far for yeah. most of you or most of us let me be part of this crew we're having children yeah so we want to give them the best of us hello Lord Noir, cuckoo uh we want we want we want to give them the best of us yeah. so we cannot show them weakness so we take it yeah. we take it yeah. we take it so you know, when you see your son suffer and they ask you questions or ask you for money, you need to sort it out. Yeah. You can't count on no, yeah. nobody. It's only on you. Yeah. And this part mentally is heavy. Yeah. Am I lying, people? I need reaction. Uh-huh. It's You're tiring. So it's heavy. 
is heavy how do you if you is anyone there who want to share his her feeling regarding this type of situation please feel free because you have to take it yeah you have to take it you have to smile in front of your friends your family and your children so especially at home yeah it's, it's really hard we put up a front yes and you i think as women you have to be so many different colors mm -hmm. You have to be a daughter, a mother. A You've got, there's so many different elements, and then when it comes to you, there's nothing left. Ah, uh. because you've given so much to everything else, just because that's our nature, and there's nothing left for you. This is a point that you guys need to hear, and please trust me. If you have it, share it. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to say, just put it on, so for that person to be aware of yeah so you will get to know that things as well because all the women we are all the same we're all this is the same pain that we share in different colors yeah. different shape and body but we're having same. the same pain mm -hmm. yeah we're having the same pain it's about time that male out there listen yeah please just listen if you really want a better world yeah. listen to the women out there yeah. what make me laugh on that part unfortunately is the irony because most of those men who have seen, who grew up with that type of strong mothers, mm -hmm. knows the pain of a woman. But what happened? What ha exactly? Oui, l'or noir, oui. The, those, those, those men, they grew up with a single mother. Yeah. They, they grew up with this pain. Yeah. They saw the struggle. But when they grow up, they become that same man. Why is ah! that? Why is that? Because it's a stereotype. I think you just fall into it. Society creates that and you don't even realize it's created. And this is the problem. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you say, yeah, psychologically. I... Yes, but you can break the chain yeah. with Jesus. Amen. Yeah, hey. you can break it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go there yet. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. But you can break the chain. Yeah. Unless if you if, if you believe that you're gonna take the right the right decision, and for you to take the right decision, you are in the relationship. You have to speak up, yeah. my man. Yeah. yeah, you have to speak and honestly and with humility. Right. You need to sit down with the person you love or you consider. Not even that you love. Consider. To talk and find a solution. That's it. Isn't it? Yep. <laughs> she said, Amen, Amen. Yes, girlfriend. Mm, I know. <laughs> I know. Lord Noir. I know. <laughs> That's why we have to spread the world. We have some... to talk about it. We have to talk about it. And if I could make one point, sorry. Tell me. I think also the, the, the point that you've just made, I think the important thing is not to settle for less. And if you're not happy, be true to yourself. Don't justify your unhappiness or say, oh, that's how guys are. No. You don't have to tolerate that. Just oh, realize that, no, I don't need to put up with this. Recognize that this doesn't feel right and do something. Don't just say, oh, I'm just a woman. Let me just relax and just, no. If it's not right, it's not right. Don't justify it. Don't make excuses for it. Don't explain it. Miss Aneb said that's so true. There you go. But this is so true, honey girl. Yes, it is. Because if you have a look at it, you know, sometimes you feel ashamed of your choices. Mm. Yeah. And then when you go outside, you see the happiness. Somehow you yeah. can detect she's happy. Yeah. Or she's, or she got a husband. She's married. She's getting married. Mm. Or they, 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 she has a family. And somehow. It hurts your own feeling. Yeah. You feel sad about yourself. Yeah. You feel ashamed. Because your friend has a baby. With a man, obviously. But where are you? It hurts. Yeah. And then you build up with something else. And something else. Yeah. Don't even forget about your daily routine of fighting at work. The struggle for The struggle. To with the stress at work, with the stress of your own family, and you're still a woman. But, and after that, we don't, co we don't talk about in uh, inequality. Mm -hmm. That's why I was talking about patriarchy issues. 
Because a man, you know, get paid higher than a woman. Yeah. But if you have, if you have respect for a woman, you would pay her higher, even more, even, oh. more, even more, even more. Hey, even if you do have respect for women, just because we're women, you should, you will pay higher, because the. The sacrifices she will have to endure yeah. just for you to, for her to fulfill that job. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You can't talk even about it. It's not even enough. She will have to deal with this type of issue with her own family, her own children, her whole husband, and all these things, and then get to work and be and efficient for you to get millions and then she stay at the back. Patriarchy. That's the issue. Well, I love what you did say about don't settle for less and i think for this part of patriarchy we will we will keep this one for don't settle for less yeah, yeah. it's really really deep important my memoir is not here to talk just for talking it's for you to understand the situation that we are living now yeah. to feel a part of it yeah. and see how you can improve yourself through people experience yeah, yeah. So don't listen to this just because I got green hair here. Please close your eyes and listen. And listen. Do not settle for less. Because you know what happened if you do so? Oh no, I'm, you know the answer. You know the answer. Oh, I will be unhappy, obviously. No, it's not only be unhappy. You going to perpetuate, perpetuate, I can't even say that in English. Perpetually. You know when you keep carry on for generation. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? Perpetual. Perpetual. Yeah. Huh? I have the perpetual. Yeah. Uh -huh. Huh? Um, it will go back to your genes. Yeah. It will go back to your children. Yeah. You know why? Because you are bitter. Bitter by life. Yeah. You haven't bitter. learned. You haven't learned. You always take it. Take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are a strong woman. Do you know that self of strong women? We're not strong to be strong. Because at the end of the day, you do get bitter through that. If you don't understand your mistake. That's it. Yeah. Because you will envy the other people's happiness. But the fact that you didn't reflect on yourself yeah. about how you can make yourself better. Yeah. But you let it happen. Yeah. It will obviously hurts you somehow and you will not be able to enjoy the real happiness of yourself and with your surrounding yeah. so please please pay attention to this one do not settle for less it doesn't mean that oh you don't do what i say i leave you not like that you need to have a clear understanding between both of you yeah. if something happens you must be able to speak up Either you're a woman or a man. If you are together in a relationship, you must be able to speak up. Yeah. You have your voice. You have so your make voice. It be heard. Yes. Yeah. Uh-uh. Simple words. as that. Mm -hmm. And then I, I like also the ways we, we talk about um, the fact to not sit up for less. Because it is also on that one, the lack. The lack of respect for care giving. Because you man, sometimes you the man need to realize the impact of his behavior with us. This is simple. A man will think like, um, I'm going out with you because you're cute. But he will not think like because he can progress. Mm -hmm. And if he does progress, it's only his ways, yeah. but not for you. So when you say caregiving as a woman, you need as a man to consider her hard work. A hard work for her to maintain herself. Also to deal with her children, to deal with her a daily routine. So when she comes to you, she can give you a side also of her. That's it. But what she has in return? Oh, I pay the bills. But do you give her attention? Do you give her attention? That's the problem that we're having in today. So this is, we cannot just talk to, for talking. We need to realize how much is important yeah. to be able to, to share when you are a man. I'm supposed to have a man actually yeah, to answer this one. Yeah, for them to one. have their point of view. Yeah. But most, be, I ask them, 
And you know what they say? Oh, I can't talk like these people. Go, da, 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 da. But you see? So why now are you uh, in shock when you see all this behavior? Because it means that you guys are pretending to, to look at something or to be someone that you are not. But because you want to conform with the rest of you guys, so you have to be a, a bitch. But when are you true to yourself then? When are you true? You're not true to your girl. You're not true to your friends. Your cover. When are you true to yourself? When are you going to really live the true life? And no, you cannot only see the bling bling. I remember there is one of the girls who said, I remember, yeah. Hebrew. She did say that um, paradise, somewhere in the Quran, that paradise is surrounding of bad things. Like a jungle, all of obstacles, la la la, yeah. and um, what they call the paradise. The opposite is uh, so l'enfer. Yeah, l'enfer, which is um, what do you call it? Say hell. Hell. Well, like, hell is surrounding of very beautiful things. Yeah. Very beautiful things. This is surrounding yeah. hell. So it means like you cannot go always. To something which is shiny you need to check the inside mm -hmm. and that's how women we get lost yeah. because we see the outside more than the inside it is it's not because there is no images there is nothing that you, you believe that uh, I'm talking to talk please close your eyes and try to understand what I mean because it is really important that you realize that when you go for something too easy in life because the man wants you because you want to be with a man so you're ready to to break yourself mm -hmm. you say to lower yourself you want to you want to you want to be uh, you want to live like uh, the society it means you need to have a man in your life and you forget yourself and then on top of that you make children but not with the real truth. So you are somehow is bitter. So you can't give 100% to your children. Because there is this part of you who yeah. still feels sad about your choices. Yeah. Yeah. And that, 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 that is the problem today. Yeah. And you know what? Children, they are so, so egoist. It means selfish. For all the sacrifices you have done, it doesn't mean that they're going to do that for yourself. Mm -hmm. So one day or another, you will come to the realization of, damn, what did I do for myself? Yeah? You have to be true for, uh, to yourself. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's the main the thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. And um, there is also a problem that you guys need to be, to be, to be aware of. Did you know that there is an increasing of rates of maternal mortality is a lot of mothers yeah dying dying yeah and 25 percent for black women i stop right here i think now we can start hello mimi j hey how you doing yeah, so today we're talking about the issues the main problem that a woman is facing into the society and we try to give um solutions so if you want to share feel free if you want to show your face Feel free as well. So it is, don't you realize that even over there, they have statistics about the situation of a black woman? What's going on? We have to stop. We have to stop praying because we love our Jesus and, and rely on him and do nothing. Even on, um, I, I, I read it, I read it in, uh, that was where, James, I think it was James 2, uh, chapter 2, verse 26, uh, it was James, yeah, James, goes to James, James, um, chapter 2, verse 26, who say, work, I mean, faith without work is dead. dead, right, so that's it all, I can't even stop here right now. All the problem is done. We're going to work on that one now. Work, faith without work is dead. It means that you can be in a relationship. You can be at work. But if you don't work hard, just believe is not enough. It's like a body, but with no spirit, is dead. It's dead. So what does it mean? It means like when you are, with, when you are in a relationship, 
When you are at work, when you are surrounding of people, you need to be true to yourself and deliver your the best version of, of yourself yeah. to them. Yeah. Because it's like a karma. You get what you give. True. And today, man, where are you? Where are you? The real man, where are you at? Why I'm saying that? Because I notice that there is this, this problem in today's society. Men, it feels like men doesn't believe on themselves anymore. They don't believe that they can change the world anymore. They just want to settle for less. For less. Yeah. They want to settle for less. They want to be with a woman who is like this, like this, like this, like that, but they don't want to change yeah. themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they think they're losing their power? Do you think they see that women are rising? That's why they've become a bit more because you're very right. The men, they're not real men anymore. Mm -hmm. What is that? Are they losing their power? Are they beginning to realize that they've been fooling us for a long time and we've woken up? I wonder mm -hmm. what it is. And uh, Tuka, th this, is, this, is, this is the problem that we're having right now because the men, the change. Mm -hmm. When I, I remember when I was young, I used to see my dad, I used to see other dads, mm -hmm. they were working hard mm -hmm. and then bring money yeah. and then they treat you like a lady, they give you, you like a princess and everything. But today's, ah. the today's, no. They don't, even, they don't even work. They expect you, you to, work. to work for them. You to sort them out. You to top up. When they are missing a hundred pounds or something, you to do everything. They're not even embarrassed to ask for these things as men. This is what has happened if they lost their their, their, their manhood. Their manhood. This this is this is very very deep. Where is the man? The, the, you see them at the gym. Yeah, boom. like this. Who 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 and having this walking and then they look like chicken. Because the top is too much too work. Too much. But what about the legs? What about the legs? They're all gone. Oh, where, 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 where? And that's a reflection of who you are. Yeah. You want the top because everyone can see the top. And it's more easier to, to get bigger on top. On top but yeah. the hard work should start from the bottom. bottom. bottom from the bottom. Up. And that, you don't do it. That's why it doesn't look good in the, at the outside yeah. so I don't even want to go inside yeah. you get me so this is the problem mm -hmm. the men today we say oh women you are too materialistic <laughs> is this something you say mini jiba say I think I think it's the lack of confidence because women these days are very empowering your girlfriend you say it all that's true. Yes. Yeah. Yes, this is this is one of one of the main problem. But if they were real men, do you really truly believe that they would be scared of us? Because they know their own power. Yeah. So that can show you how today it looks like they're all pussies. Sorry for my word. But they look like they're all pussies. Because you just they're just scared of intelligent yeah. women. Yeah. Independent women. Yeah. Oh, and you have idea an ambitious woman. That's is too much. I rem it's too much power. It's, it's, it's too much for them to handle and try to control. And I think a lot of it is that. And I remember my mum telling me one thing. Mm -hmm. Women are more powerful than men. But you don't let the man know that. Mm. There's a way of doing it without them realising that you're in control. But you can never... You have to be submissive to a man. My mum has always told me that. I didn't understand it. But you have to be submissive so they feel like a man. Once we kill that masculinity, that is it. We know we're powerful, but we don't have to tell them that. You that's, own that. That's the thing. I'm a bit... Mm, no! <laughs> I can't be submissive like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. It's not like being like... I cannot say amen to everything because you're a man. It's not you necessary. Know, no, no, I understand. Yeah. I may understand what your man wants you to know, but when I look at in another perspective, yeah. my perspective, no, you can be submissive if the man allow you to be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let, let's talk, let's have an example. Uh, if a man pay the bills, yeah, and is always there for you when you need him, is mm -hmm. want you to succeed. Or to excel on anything. Yep. Why should I be rude to him? 
Why should I not low myself with someone who treat me like a queen? This type of thing comes naturally. Yeah. Because if you act good, you get what you get, you get what you give. Yeah, yeah. If you give me this yeah. attention, you give me that energy, you that, that energy, yeah. I, I I take it and yeah. I will give you. As they say, Ten times. You, you you give a house to a woman, she will transform it in a home. Yes. 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 But you need to give something yeah. for her to have it back and transform. Yeah. Yeah. So I cannot be submissive for someone who just say, I'm a man. Oh, that reminds me so many of them. Lately. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, yes, because they just say, oh, I'm a man. Oh, you shouldn't speak like this to a man. And you're your man. Um, is that a dick? Can you imagine if someone said, oh, I have a dick. Oh, I have a dick because you have to, you have to, you have to transform it. Yeah. It sounds different, but that's the main meaning. Yeah. Oh, I'm a man because I'm a man. I can do this because I'm a man. Transform this man by a dick, or because I have a dick, I can do this. That you will look damn stupid, yes, deep stupid. Yep. 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 You don't. We don't need to know that. We can see that obviously you're a man, but what do you do to to feel like one? Yeah. Yeah. Because you can have your own perception, but what about the other perception? Yeah. Yeah. What do you do as actions who make you a man? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I pay the bills. Yeah, you pay the bills, but are you there when things are hard with your woman? Paying the bills doesn't make you a man. Ah, not. No. A man supposed to, for us, I think the, the normal definition is like a French army or is only on TV. No, because I do know some couples that they got married and they good man yeah. it does exist i saw yeah. it so i cannot yeah. say i never yeah. seen that yeah. but they work they accept to suffer they accept to work harder yeah. to maintain what they have that's it you know they know what it is to have a woman in their life mm -hmm. you didn't take someone's daughter just for her to be there and you know Mm -hmm. You have to take care of her. You have to support her. Mm -hmm. You you are together. Mm -hmm. It's a partnership. Mm -hmm. But you know that you're a man. If you're the king of the castle, if you want to have that role as the king of the castle, mm -hmm. behave like that and I will make you the king of my castle. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. You can't just ask me to call you a man and you're not showing anything. And if you want that role, act in mm -hmm. that role. I like this. What well, about mothers? That's for you because I told you I promised we're going to talk about it too. Mm -hmm. About those fathers. This is a good topic as well. The fathers. Oh, so they are here. They make the baby. They say, "Oh yes, it's my baby." But when he comes, they run away of their responsibilities. But you can say that oh, he's still there for his child. But look at the society today. You can tell that there is a problem with the fatherhood. Yeah. Yeah, because the father will expect a mother to take care of. Mm -hmm. But how come a mother cannot expect the dad to do the, the same? same? The same, exactly. That's the thing I don't understand. It's like you correct your child. Mm -hmm. you, 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 no, don't do this. No, don't do that. You even slap him sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you go to complain to dad. And dad say you're a bad mother. You shouldn't do that. But what do you do? But what did you do? What do you what do you do? And then you say that no, take those children. Or if it's like this, or I don't know, because you know, have your child with yourself for I don't know for two months. Mm -hmm. Take those responsibilities so then you know how it fits in my yeah. shoes yeah. before you act like that. Yeah. Oh no, they don't want. They go away. They ghost you. Hush. Where are you? Hush. Hush. They ghost you. Oh, <laughs> She said, act. Yes. Yes. You just act because yeah. too much talking is, is so easy. Yeah. But they like to ghost. I, I feel for someone, for all the ladies who had child mm -hmm. and then the, mo the, the fathers run away. Hi. I Hi. feel for you. And shame on you, man, who does that. Mm -hmm. Yes, shame on you. Know that anything in this world have a payback That's some right. way you will another. answer for that behavior mm -hmm. yeah you will answer yeah yeah we, we're not in a hurry oh. for all of you who run away who knows who have children and they're not doing anything about it mm. because this this is an accident this is pride but when the when the child becomes successful uh, now you know yeah. your, you, yeah. you know <laughs> you, you know you know who is your child now you know where to find him 
But what about all this pain of those mothers? I mean, Mijab. Yes. What about the pain of these mothers? No, man. You need to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. You need to hear it. Oh no, the mother really treat me like shit, so I have to go. But you go. But what about the child? Forget what about do the you child. do? Forget about the mother. It's not about your relationship. Some of them do not know how to separate the two. Talk about that. That Preach. is your child. That is part of your generation. That is your blood. You have your role. Never mind about my role or our relationship. Mm -hmm. You have a role as a father. Mm -hmm. End of. I have a role as a mother. And we should have a role together. But if that's not really working hard, that's all right. You have a role as a father and take care of that. It's because of the bitterness with the women is why I think a lot of them behave the way and they just disappear. They don't think about the child. It's, it's the pain, the bitterness, the anger for the woman what about those guys who say that yes they have a child but it was an accident so they want to run away what do you want to say about that well <laughs> i've heard this one <laughs> <laughs> and, tell me about that well where to start it's an accident but as a human being it's the biggest blessing on this earth it mm -hmm. can never be an accident it was god planned you might not have expected it to happen at that time but no child is a mistake. God knew what was happening, but he's watching you, how you deal with that. Right. Mm -hmm. And you don't know who tomorrow that child is going to be. What would, you, what would you have to say about those guys who does that? Because obviously you know that it's God will. It's God will. And to be honest, I speak from a personal perspective. Mm -hmm. It took me a long time to forgive myself. Once I forgave myself, for choosing the wrong person to father my child. Um, once I forgave myself, I'm so happy. I actually feel sorry really, for him. No? I actually feel sorry for him that he's missing out on this. This is such a big blessing and I've turned that pain, that anger, that bitterness to, um, I just feel sorry for you because this is your loss. This is something you will answer for. And I like this part, I must share it, because it comes from a personal point of view. You know how I feel about that shit. Yes. Men to run away because it, it, it wasn't as blue as they thought. The think. relationship wasn't, it as, wasn't as, as they as wanted. I was thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the kid is there now. We need to find a solution. And people will say, oh, I can't force it. I can't anymore. I can't force it. I need to let you down. But it's the best solution. I don't mind because it's not everyone. Hey, cuckoo. It's not, it's not, every, it's not, it's not everyone who has the, the guts, the, yeah. the guts yeah. to maintain a relationship yeah. to, yeah. for the sake of the children. Yeah. We're yeah. not saying that, okay, you need to force yourself to be, not, no. You can go away as a part, yeah. but you need, to f you need to find a way to talk, yeah. to understand each other so yeah. then you can move forward yeah but most of those people that run away because it's the easiest way yeah is it the one to face it they don't want to work out working out with us they don't mm -hmm. want to work it out it's mm -hmm. easier to just run away rather than saying you know what you do you i do me and then the child is it's easier to just run away because they don't want to work it out it's too much they don't have the courage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is this is so true and so sad as well yeah. but i must I must, I must say, sometimes there is the guy who feel like when they broke up with the, the, the mothers, mm -hmm. anything now who will happen to our child mm -hmm. is your responsibility as a mother. I don't care because I choose to not let you go, but you didn't want me. So I go you, and you deal with and it. And you deal with it. It's your situation. You trapped it's me. It's on you. I've heard that as well. You trapped me. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Coach Murphy, toujours en forme. Merci, merci, Coach Murphy. Thank you. But the thing is, uh, there is, uh, personally, I will say, I know someone, obviously, we, we know this one. It's very nice to have someone who wants to be part of the, the child life, yeah. who will be there for them. But when things get hard, he run away. Yeah. He doesn't want to take responsibilities. It's on you because you left him. Yeah. And this part... It really hurt me personally. Sometimes when I hear that, oh, you have to deal with it because you choose to go. 
Oh. You know who I'm talking to? Uh, yes. Mm? I choose to go. So you have to deal with it. L is on you. If things happen, it's, it's on, on you. you. Yeah. But excuse me. Excuse me. We are together in this. Yeah. If it happens to me, it's happening it to you. It's to you too. Right. So you have to bring yourself into that shit. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. You have to bring yourself to that thing. So you have to remember, although that it hurts your own feeling as a man, that no matter what, there is a God. Yeah. yeah. And if you notice in your life, things are not as well as you want. Yeah. Because there is a way that God wants to talk to you and show you that, man, you need to change something. Yeah. But yeah. if you refuse to change, things are not going to happen very well as you expect. Yeah. That's that that yeah. that's, and that's so true. That's that's the thing, that's you so know. True. Your happiness will not be as hundred percent that you're supposed to be. Yeah. So, so that's that's how I learn. But this is now personal. I know that sometimes is is hard, yeah. and I want to to curse deeply. But I say no. It's too easy because God doesn't want me to do that. So I remember I use God for my, my policeman. Like yeah. I cannot go through that road yeah. because it's too easy. Anything easy is evil. Remember yeah. that. It's not good. It's just not good. Yeah. You want to run away? It's evil. Yeah. You need to face it. Although it will hurt you, it will never feel good. Somehow it's, it's easier mm. to do bad thing than to do the good, good thing. Yeah. Why? But the thing we stay last is the good thing anyway. I, I don't understand. So for those men who doesn't want to take responsibilities, don't do it even for the mother. Do it for the sake of God. Thank and you. if you are not a believer, do it for the sake of the karma. Because That's any all. bad thing that you, you will do... You pay for what you, you will answer to your child. Mm -hmm. And if I can just say, these scenarios that we're given and these men we're talking about, mm -hmm. they're not actually real men. And... So we can't even give them too much energy. We're talking, and I don't think that is the general thing of men, but these kind of guys that walk out on their kids, that do all of these things, you can't call this a proper man. This is not a proper man. Because a real man will not no, behave no, 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 no. like that. He will operate in love. He will operate in maturity. He will operate in respect. Mm -hmm. We're talking about boys, these ones that run out. I'm sorry if you're out there and you hear me, but that's the truth. And I fully agree with you because that's why they said you forgot about your manhood, about what's supposed to be a man. When we say man, what, what do you feel when we have to say a man? What, 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 what do you think a man is? Um, a man is. Oh, that is. Like, a like good qualities. One. Um, what do we expect? A man is a strength. Man? Mm -hmm. A man is security. It's supposed to be security. Mm -hmm. um, a man is. What do you What do you think the ideal man? What do you think that a, your ideal man should be? Oof. It's a lot, isn't it's it? A lot. Hey, hey. I will. I will start with this because yeah. because when we say a man, because we keep saying yes, a man, a man, a father, a father, but it's simple. A man supposed to be strong yeah. and the strength. It's not only the strength, physical strength, but from the inside. Mental as well. Some of them are crazy. Crazy. Because you cannot have uh, the, the quality of a man if you don't work for it. Yeah. It's like you have to be strong to maintain the stress. Mm -hmm. There is the stress when you need to impose yourself. You need to, to stand you keep your head up when things go bad mm -hmm. you know you need to represent so you need to take the pressure take the pressure keep it up but when time is too hard you need to use your humility that's right yep. your humility yep. to speak nicely yep. and with respect to the one you love yep. and share to find a solution yeah that's my man i'm talking about yeah. the man who can come and know how to talk to me oh, thank you he is gentle. He treats you like a diamond. Some, some. I mean, as women, hormones there's so many elements. A real man will treat you with care. He'll treat you so delicately, you know, because he understands. He will never understand what it is to be a woman, but he'll understand what it is to have a woman in his life because he treasures that. You can't go toe to toe and be arguing with her and try and be on the same level. No, mm -mm. you mm. treat her with care. 
it's, it's so simple. I don't know where, where the man's at now. Where are you guys? Mm. You, you no, know, because this is what we are looking for right now. Real man. Not the one we see on TV, but the normal man. But you see, this is a big issue. That's why I'm talking to, to you guys today regarding this. The real man, where you are, you're not there. Why? Because your damn mother didn't do the right That's job why with she you. Didn't teach you. You don't know how to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about it. It's a no. Excuse me. We said we just the way we're talking like but it comes from where? It comes from a woman. Yeah. Because if a man has a very good education, uh, have a look at him, Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The full example on himself. He's been raised by his grandmother or his yeah. mom. Yeah. He's again a female, not a father. The dad of the dad died, I think. But look at who he is today. Yeah. And look at the way he's been treating his own her wife. Yeah. She's an example. Yeah. She supports him. Yes. They support each other. Who who raised him? The mother. The mother alone. Alone again. Oh, I have a list of, of big celebrities who's been raised by mothers, single mothers. Mm -hmm. But that this is where I want you guys to realize that good men comes from good family yeah good family starts from the good mom yeah not even the dad like a patriarchy side we're talking about matriarchy side yeah. this time because then even in ghana because i know in ivory coast yeah they're very they also got this culture of of matriarchy yeah. um style yeah and you see how they are successful you see how they are successful i can see when you put a woman in place yeah she, 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 when the woman has all the resources, all the love that she needs, she raises good kids. And the kids perpetuate. They, they, they do also the same thing because this is why they saw a strong mother will yeah. suffer. They want to take care of that. Yeah. So when they have a woman, they will they take, will take care, care of, of her because they understand. But if the man doesn't do that, it means simply they didn't understand. He didn't understand the struggling of his own mother. Oh, no. So how can he understand yeah. you? He's got no sympathy. Oh, no sympathy. If a man is bad, you just need to go back to the roots. That's yeah, so. all. Where it comes from. That's yeah, so. all. Where when you see a beautiful man with all these muscles and stuff, just ask one question: Where is your mom? Yes. How is she? Do you have a good relationship? Do you have a relationship? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that can tell you how he's going to treat you. Yeah. Am I lying? It's true. Uh-huh. True, no. true. If you grow up with your mother, if your mother raised you good, you will be good. Yeah. It's automatic. Yeah. It's automatic. Yeah. The man who doesn't treat a woman fairly, you can you can tell just by the mother. Yeah. But somehow with God, everything is possible because when you choose, when you choose to go with God, then all your behavior is changing. Change. Yep. Yep. Because you want to comply with what God asks you to do. Because you're out of the worldly things. Yeah. So you look really the essence of it. Yeah. But people who has no vision, people who has no religion, what do you expect? What, what do you expect? And this is the problem. We pick up these guys and we expect more than what they can really deliver because they don't have a clue. Mm -hmm. They actually do not have a clue. And they've got issues and we pick that up and we see all the lovey-dovey. And later on down the line, we realise, yeah, this brother's got issues. He's got issues with himself from day one. one. But you've been, you, you've been blinded yeah. because of his external right. side effects. <laughs> That five seconds, <laughs> Two. yes, it's done, finish. Now you have the problem for the rest of your life. That's that. That's the sad thing about it. Yes, Mimi, you say it's so true. Mm -hmm. It's true. If the, the if the mother hasn't raised her child properly, properly. yeah, the yeah. consequences will be for generations. Yeah. Unless you want to break the chains with the law, you yeah. can be Muslim, you have a religion to, to, to fulfill your good, yeah. Huh? Yeah. The, the, a good behavior yeah. to help you because on your own, with your mind level as a man, you can't do much. Yeah. That's why most of the men, they say, oh, I've been in the street, oh, no one's raised me, I'm busy, I'm busy. Yes, and you're so damn street that even when you think it's like a street, street and yeah. then you, when you go to your house, you have babies, you're going to treat them like street. Yeah. But what the fuck? Yeah. What, what is that? 
what what the fuck is this but i think there's not enough role models there's not enough enough you know they just i think a lot of boys these days as mm-hmm. well and that's after speaking to teenage boys mm-hmm. a lot of them are raised by their mothers they see the struggle they appreciate what it is to be a woman but also they're frustrated because they want to be men they end up on the streets and it ends up being something else because the essence isn't there. Do you see what I mean? It's a struggle. Oh, to make sure I've got money for her. So they just lose the whole point of it. Lose it totally. Because it's a desperate thing just to have money and survive. That's the things I want to talk about as well. For those young boys who have to take over because mm-hmm. they haven't got the fathers. Mm-hmm. There is, when you have this type of issue, is the mother. It's also the mother's. Because she will obviously, she can't really face all the situations alone. alone. Mm. But sometimes you need, those children need guidance. Yeah. I know we're all struggling with money. We're all struggling with money, trust me. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to sell myself mm-hmm. to the devil because of money. Because all the women who have children and all the children who bring you food, who pay your bills, and you know, damn, you know that this money is dirty. Yeah, you you know, you know, it's dirty. You know it. The child doesn't work. He has the latest yeah. fashion stuff. Louis Vuitton's, Nikes, all of this for 100, 300. You know he's not working, but when you get this old, and he's still living in your house because he paid the bills for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zip it, zip it. How is the same man that you take, he's going to have a child. What is he going to teach? What example he can give to his own child? And it's because of you mothers. Yeah. You accept it. Yeah. Oh, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? I'm not working. He's paying the bills. Um, I remember that Judah, uh, he actually is the one who killed himself mm. because he realized his mistakes. Yeah. He was too late. On this type of behavior, yeah, action, you should know there will be consequences. Yeah. Don't come and after that cry because he died, because someone uh, knife crime and all, all, the, all this shit. Uh, if you are faith, it doesn't mean that God will protect him. If you have faith, you, you normally you will find another way. Yeah. You will fight even harder because in this world you have all the example possible. Yeah. You have people yeah. who ne- who've been struggling in the street, but they choose to work harder to do two, three, four, five jobs at the same time. Well, this is what the problem is as well. If I could just say this is also a big problem. The struggle is real. Some of us do two, three jobs. How do you, as a single mom, raise a child doing two or three jobs? You are not there. We need money to survive, but also you're neglecting bringing up that child because you're hustling to put food in that child's mouth. And this is what a big problem is. We are not there. Hmm. The struggle is real. And it's only one minute. Uh, We are less than two minutes. We're going to finish the live. And we're going to take over next week. Next week, Sunday at 10.30 UK. uh, 10.30 PM for you guys to be there. You can share with your friends because we're going to talk about these issues. It's really important that you do participate. Thank you for all of you who are participating as well. To my girls right here. And she will be here next week as well carry on this because i think this talk is real talk yeah. we have to let it go we have to speak up and find solution between us yeah, yeah? is we have in, is enough is enough yeah. just make it happen yeah. and this is what i'm trying to do as memoir to promote the experience to promote the woman we have to become stronger yeah. together we are stronger That's so it. i see you next week yes i see you next week sunday at 10 30 uk time Kiss you. Bye, Menoir. Bonsoir.